so I don't know if you can tell, the pearl is starting to bag up a little bit, which means lambs will be here sooner rather than later. Um, when exactly that's going to be is a whole nother story, but uh, she's starting to bag up, so sooner. Our ram lamb is a little curious about the pups still. Uh, he's getting to be the... I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. We're going to overwinter more sheep than we have ever done before. Not to say that we've only been at it a few years, a couple years. We'll see. The uh, pastures are starting to get a little sparse. And we're coming in to the end of October, give or take. We still have, you know, some grass, but don't get me wrong. And there's more. Some of the other pastures. Oh, hey, pups. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's not, uh, not as rich as it was last year. We had a much drier season this year, as I think most folks did around around and we just didn't get the the late season growth like we've seen last year or year before. So a lot of a lot of the grass we're looking at is, is from you know late spring even uh, early summer. You know, still stick it around, come back a little bit, but it's, uh, we used to get, in the, in the past, we, we'd have a fairly wet summer and get some pretty good grass, uh, late summer, early fall, we were still in the growing season, and that just, that just didn't happen, this year's too dry. Been wet enough that we still have grass, I guess that's a, a good sign. But, uh, we'll see if, how well that does over winter. The plan is to expand them into the woods a bit very soon and see if they can sustain themselves. We've got about seven acres of wooded area back there. Well, six acres, give or take. There's some grass back there, not a lot. There's a lot of browse, and they, they have proven that they can do okay on browse. Uh, we'll see. That said, our, our St. Croix have not proven that. Uh, they haven't really grown since we've gotten them. It's not a great sign. I would. Ex I was expecting. I was expecting them to to be about the size of uh, our Katahdin there. Now, obviously not pregnant. Uh, right now she's she's a bit wider, but you know tall and whatnot. But they are they are still pretty small lambs. I think they were born in February or March. I have to get out the the database and take a look to be specific. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll see.
Maybe, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're, they're about the same size as some of our black belly cotton crosses. Although those guys are all rams that I have over there, except one who's still pretty small as well. Can't really tell, but she's the, the little black one there. And she was born. Oh, about the same time, maybe. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just out of it, but I can't find a shot. There we go. I don't know. We'll see. They're grazing the chute. When you're not chasing them, they go through it just fine. Calmly, single file. Oh, our pregnant mamas. Having a hard time getting through though. We do it against a, a chain link so it uh, it yields and she can get through without getting squashed. But it still holds them tight and get get stuff done if you need to catch them. But uh, oh yeah, but uh, Python arm or whatever, whatever you need. Sort them. Looking at uh, some of our U's from that had had lambs early this year. And none of them look uh, look like they're going to give us winter lambs, which means that we're probably going to get nice nice lambs right at uh, the heart of the spring next year from those girls. Meanwhile, you know, obviously, Pearl's going to give us some soon. And I don't know about our Dorper. She is hard to, to tell. She's just a bigger gal. And I, I, don't, I don't know well enough what's normal for her and what's pregnant. Uh, it is what it is.